You are the best storyteller. Can you tell me <laughs> what's going on here? Um, so out here is a repair shop. Uh, it's basically where all the magic happens uh, for the repair side of the shop. Um, we do everything, all maintenance, uh, basic maintenance to full rebuilds, to engine out swaps. Um, I don't really know. Let's start from this one. Uh, so this is a customer's car. He just bought it at a recent Mecham auction. Um, uh, same as that one. They're both from the same auction, same owner. They brought bought them, brought them here. We're just doing basic little upgrades, stuff like that that needed to be done to them. You know, oil change, fix a couple of things here and there that weren't quite right with them. Um, it happens a lot when you buy the cars. You know, there's always something they want to change or something that just needs to be done. That, the previous owner didn't want to do or you know it just kind of got overlooked for the sale of it um, Jim said this one is just finished this is one that we just built yep it's a 63 Scout um, it sits on a roadster shop chassis it's got a 525 horse LS3 cruising connect yeah. um, it's a uh, Everything on it has been completely rebuilt. It's got a, it's a custom color. It's actually a 2022 Subaru uh, Crosstrek Blue. Uh, it's sits on 33 inch wheels. It's got a full, um, it is. Custom interior is all done by a local shop in Stone of Mass. Um, all the door cards and everything are all 3D printed. Uh -huh. Uh, they're actually held on by rare earth magnets, so there's no bolts or hardware that hold them on. Everything's kind of hidden. Same thing with the center console. He 3D printed the whole center console and wrapped it in leather. Um, he built the seats for us. He built the dash pad, um, did all the carpet in it, and then we had a, a local woodworker do the, the woodwork, the woodworking in the bed, um, cabinet maker. So, um, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, Gentlemen's excited to get it back. We're excited to give it to them. We just got to knock off a couple of more little bugs here and there on it. Uh, this is a collection car of one of our personal collection cars. It's an you know, Auburn Boattail Speedster 36. Uh, we're just doing basic maintenance to it. We made a bunch of lists over the summer of stuff that needed to be addressed on it. And uh, one of the other mechanics, Danny, who's this is his baby, he loves the collection cars. He's just finishing it up, going through it. Um, when we go through the car, we'll go through every aspect of it to the point where the little rubbers that cover the body were all dry rotted. Where the bumper meets, these are all dry rotted. So we got a new pair. They they make them. There's a company, a couple of companies out there that still make parts for the car. Um, if we have to change something and we can't get it made, we'll make it and we'll just move on. Uh, what about yeah. the Chevelle? The Chevelle is a customer's car that came in. Um, unfortunately, it's, it was at another shop. They did a bunch of work to it. Um, did they fuck up? They, they <laughs> did. There was a, there's, a lot of, um, there's a lot of things that we've noticed that isn't right. Um, and we're not, not, you know, we're not an expert on them, but when you work on enough of them all the time, you start to pick up what belongs and what doesn't. But they probably did very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think it was just put together as fast as possible. And um, they, now owner needs to pay twice. Pretty much, yeah. So the owner put a lot of money into the car. Um, you know, he did, he bought the right parts. He did the right things. Um, it's a big block. Uh, it's, you know, it's got aluminum winter heads on it, which are super killer, super hard to find, super expensive. Um, but there's issues with it all the way around. Uh, for instance, like the fenders aren't fully bolted to the firewall. Uh, you know, you put hood pins in it, but you don't give the mechanism here that actually latches it down. That's your actual first in line of defense. It's a se secondary latches in there. It kind of runs, it kind of doesn't. Uh, the pin's kind of rough. Uh, if you kind of run your hand over it, it sounds like a cat tongue. <laughs> you know, uh, unfortunately, it's a, it's a really cool car. It's just, it needs a little bit of work. And that's a lot of times what we see is, you know, everybody has really cool cars that just need little things here and there. Um, 
Let's go to GTO. The GTO is uh, another customer car. It's a 67 GTO. It's a 400 big block with a tri-power intake on it. Um, it sat for a couple of years. It came in, carburetors were leaking. It's a tri-power car. Tri-power carburetors are really finicky. Um, so we sent the carburetors out, had them fully rebuilt and restored. Uh, it needed intake gaskets, valve cover gaskets, just basic maintenance stuff. Changed all that out for it. Um, it's a killer car. It's got a Tremec six-speed in it that the customer upgraded. His wife didn't like the four-speed. She wanted a six-speed. Um, it's a it's a rowdy little rowdy little car. What about this Mustang? I see you so just this started Mustang, it. This Mustang is probably pretty cool. The best we can tell this is original paint, original interior, original engine, 289 automatic car. Uh, that is just. Uh, it sat for a little bit, so it just needs some loving. Um, we're doing a full harness to it. I can get the hood open. Um, 289. It had a little bit of an electrical issue, uh, so we're going to replace the harness, clean it up a little bit, get it running a little bit better, and then um, it's actually going to be up for sale. Um, customer decided it's time to move on with it. How much is it going to be? Uh, I do not know the price on this. I, uh, Half a million again? <laughs> no, no, this is... I, I honestly, I don't know. Jim, usually the general manager, he does all the, the prices and, you know, him and the customers figure out what they're going to ask for the car. Um, I just fix them. All right. And then, right, sitting right back there is a 125 the horse. Engine. This is a 125 horse uh, Volkswagen motor that we built for the four speedster over behind you. Huh? Uh, we had built, I should say. Um, we're just doing some basic maintenance to it right now. We found a couple of things that are a little funky on it. We want to fix them before it goes in. And uh, it's pretty much the repair side of the shop here. Um, we try and keep it clean. We actually spent quite a bit of time yesterday trying to clean the shop up just because... You did a great job. We tried. <laughs> um, we always try to make sure it's a clean area. Everybody, you know, everybody keeps their stuff clean, makes it work. and. Uh, all right thank you derek absolutely sir